Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is another collaboration hosted by the lovely Tori Toth and Catherine from Amateur Decorating Like a Pro. This is a Christmas collaboration and um, it is based on a Christmas carol. And as you guys can see, my Christmas carol will be Frosty the Snowman. So if you are interested in seeing how I made these snowmen right here, stay tuned. These are the items purchased from the Dollar Tree. So let me tell you about my spray paint. I've had this spray paint on hand for a while now. I purchased mine a few months ago at Hobby Lobby for $7.99, but I did some research for you guys and you can find this same, well, this type of spray paint at Home Depot for like $3.47. So you wanna spray a thin layer of this paint onto your globes, um, short strokes, you don't wanna overdo this and it will dry that frosted color that you see there. Now since I'm spray painting, I'm gonna go ahead and spray paint my snowflakes as well with this gold paint that I had on hand. And while it's wet, I'm sprinkling glitter on top. And this is how it will look. For the hat, I'm gonna use a scrap piece of poster board that I had around. I cut out a rectangle about two by four inches and I hot glued it into a cylinder shape. Next, I trace the cylinder and cut out that circle. I then traced um, a larger object. Here I used the blue tape and I also cut out that circle. Then I hot glued the smaller circle to the top of the cylinder. Then glued the cylinder to the bigger circle. So this is the finished hat. Don't worry about all of the hot glue that will be covered with the glitter. So I decided to use a Tupperware bowl to kind of contain some of the mess. I'm using spray adhesive here that I had on hand, but you can use whatever you have. Elmer's glue works just fine. And you go ahead and sprinkle the glitter right on top of the glue. So with some gold paint, this gold leaf paint I had on hand, I wanted to paint the bottom of the hat. So once it's dry, you want to clean up any of the hot glue strings and shake off any loose glitter. Now I want to add a gold band around the hat and I'm going to use some um, tool that I had around the house. And I folded that up so that it's pretty thin and I'm going to go ahead and hot glue that to the hat. And finally, I'll add a snowflake sticker to the band. So I also have this fur on hand from a previous project. I'm hot gluing it in half just to make it a little thicker. I wanted to show you guys me actually drawing this on the globe. It's a real simple face. I did this probably in about five minutes. Once the drawing was done, I went ahead and painted it. Now I tried with a paintbrush I had and it wasn't working too well so this pencil worked just fine. If you notice the pencil marks there, um, I just simply erased that off and it did leave like a clear mark where it took off the paint so I re-spray painted. And now here are the items that I'm gonna use to assemble. Let me continue by gluing down this head. Now I don't know what I was doing, I didn't make it centered but it still worked out. Next, I wanna go ahead and put the buttons on there. And now the scarf. And finally, it's time to add the hat. Just a little glue at the bottom and place it however you want it on, on the head. So I wanted to make sure to tell you not to glue the snowman to the, your base because you have to be able to turn the light on and off. So at this point, you could really be done, but I wanted to glam it up just a little bit more, so I decided to take this tool and wrap it around the base of the snowman, just to give the illusion of some sparkly, sparkly gold snow. So that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this DIY, wasn't it simple? If you can, go ahead and check out all of the other videos in this collaboration, I'm sure you're gonna run into a lot of cool stuff. So until next time, take care.